It's 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Johnson, and it's right now minus 4 in the Elk Valley, minus 1 in Cranbrook. News is for Spring Honda, Flam and Fitness Cranbrook, and OK Tire. Numerous East Kootenai residents are becoming very vocal against main road contracting and the work they do maintaining highways in the winter. With compact snow and ice still on most roads, people are, were unsatisfied and wanted the province to terminate their contract with main road. General Manager for Main Road East Kootenai, Al Sander, assures that they are doing everything they can to clear the roads, but there are challenges, especially on Highway 3. It's so different from one end to the other, and it's, you know, it's a fairly highly traveled road, you know, because there's a significant amount of people that work at tech. You know, you get stretches through the through the rock falls where it's entirely a different, you know, we're in an area where we have, you know, eight different microclimates, and so it can be, be a challenge from time to time. Since that press announcement, crews have been out with frequency and roads in the area are mostly clear. If residents want something to change, Sander adds that the government should be pressured as they supply the annual budget of just over $13 million. Both Cranbrook and Kimberly Council will hold their inaugural meetings today. Cranbrook Council will hold their inaugural meeting at City Hall starting at 6. Meanwhile, Kimberly Council's inaugural meeting will be held outside of Council Chambers at the Kimberly Conference and Athlete Training Center, also starting at 7 p.m. Cranbrook Council will see a whole new slate put in place tonight with all members of council new to the role. Wes Graham is the only member of council who comes to the role with previous political experience. In Kimberley, new members of council include Nigel Keto and Sandra Roberts. Re-elected members include Daryl Oakley, Albert Hoagland, Kent Goodwin, and Bev Middlebrook. Don McCormick was elected as mayor, ousting previous mayor Ron McRae. There are concerns Sony's online PlayStation store may have been the target of a cyber attack. Sony Computer Entertainment in Tokyo says the online store was inaccessible to users for two hours today. Sony, however, says there is no sign of any material being stolen. Sports is for Beachcomber Hot Tubs Cranbrook. A loss for the Kootenai Ice to wrap up a weekend on the road. Jeff Hollick has more. The Kootenai Ice wrapped up a weekend of three games and three nights, losing 5-4 in Tri-City. The last three Sundays, the Ice have come back in the third period to win games, playing their third game in three nights. They were down 5-2 last night, scored two early goals to make it interesting, but could not get the equalizer. Tim Bozon, two goals, including one on the power play, one shorthanded. Other goals to Austin Vetterell and Luke Philp. Sam Reinhardt extended his point streak to 14 games. DeShano extends his to 13, and Bozon's got points in seven straight. Ice will play Medicine Hat at home tomorrow night. Covering the ice, I'm Jeff Hollick. Meanwhile, another win on the road for the Fernie Ghost Riders yesterday. Kyle Christensen has more. The Fernie Ghost Riders didn't start well, but they ended well yesterday afternoon in Grand Forks, winning it 8-4. to four. They gave up three goals in the first four minutes of the game, and then they were led back by a pair of goals from Aaron Neufeld, a pair of goals from Josh McCullough, Derek Georgopoulos, Spencer Bender, Sam Plaquin, and Joel Burgess round out the scoring. The Ghost Riders win their 22nd game of the year, and they hit eight for the second time. Reporting on the Fernie Ghost Riders, I'm Kyle Christensen. The Kimberly Dynamiters had a win and a loss this weekend. The loss came while well away from home as the Nitros lost to the Creston Valley Thundercats 4-2 Friday night. The Nitros turned things around Saturday, though, with a 5-2 victory at home over the Nelson Leafs. Jason Richter picked up a hat trick Saturday night, his third goal an empty netter with only a minute 21 remaining, securing Kimberly's win. Keenan Hase and Jesse Wallace picked up the other two Nitros goals. Quick look at the NHL. Four games around the league last night. Ottawa won over Vancouver 4-3 in overtime. Another overtime game went to 4-3. Anaheim beating Winnipeg. That score again, 4-3. Edmonton edged past San Jose 2-1. And Detroit beat Carolina 3-1. The drive weathers for Grapes and Suds Brew. They have great gifts for the winemaker on your Christmas list. For the Apothic Red fans, try the Mystic or Winemaker Trio. Call Grapes and Suds Brew today at 489-3236. Today, cloudy with a high of plus two. Overnight, strong chance of snow, a low of zero. Tuesday, snow or rain expected, high of seven. Wednesday, chance of rain, a high of eight. And Thursday, more rain, a high of nine. Right now, it's minus four in the Elk Valley, minus one in Cranbrook. I'm Jeff Johnson at 605. <laughs> Lunch weekdays at noon, and we've got rock rides day and night exclusively on the Kootenai's best rock. The drive.